Hi, I'm Cynthia Schiller. Please like and subscribe where we help and heal one day at a time. We're going to talk about uh, some of the uh, characteristics of um, some of the cluster B uh, personality disorders. On, and we're going to talk about narcissism. So um, that's one of the cluster B. Uh, they are very dramatic people, emotional. They have a lot of erratic behavior. And you can tell a narcissist also by the impulsiveness that they have. Uh, um, reduced capacity for empathy, and, and that'll vary on the narcissist, the severity of their narcissism, but they'll uh, always have unstable emotions, and even their relationships will start to uh, become um, rocky, and uh, they just um, have a difficult time maintaining uh, their relationships because they're so uh, into themselves that they really don't care about other people. And uh, they have um, this grandiosity in fantasy, their behavior. They also have a need for admiration, um, but they lack that empathy that, that keeps relationships healthy. And um, they uh, need to have five different traits uh, out of nine. Um, so to go over them, they have like the grandiose, uh, grandiose sense of self-importance. Um, they overestimate their own abilities, exaggerating their accomplishments. They often fantasize about unlimited success, power, brilliance, whether it's beauty, even love. And they just seem to believe that they're special, superior, or unique. Um, they just need that excessive admiration, constant attention. And that's why they often go off and cheat or um, cancel plans just to uh, maybe do something that they see would feed their supply more. Maybe it's a larger party or um, where there's not uh, as much, um, you know, like at family gatherings, maybe the uh, attention's not going to be as much on them. So they'll often cancel. Um, they have that sense of entitlement. They want uh, and expect favorable treatment. They, they think that they're entitled to that. Um, they're uh, conscious um, or uh, unwitting exploitation of others. Um, they'll often sexually exploit people. Uh, they can do it for money. Um, they just need the attention. Um, and sometimes uh, they just want to feel a power over somebody. And so they'll take what they can get. They get a thrill out of that. And just that lack of empathy, insensitive, uh, cold, and they don't really have an interest in other people. Uh, so when they talk, it's not to get to know them better, um, unless it's to, to uh, take some information that they can use in the future. They're arrogant, patronizing, sn uh, and snobby. Um, and to continue on with a relationship like this, um, it, it's so damaging to us because uh, this narcissist, um, they're always uh, self-enhancing themselves, self-absorbed, self-centered. Uh, they're so dismissive of people. And they just want the attention put back on them. They just have this need to where um, they're just craving uh, that they feel special. And um, it's just to rebalance what they've lost from their childhood. And they, they just need that special treatment. Uh, if they don't get it, a lot of times um, they'll react negatively, they'll be rageful, um, and they kind of see it as like a, a threat. So uh, there are more males than females. Um, the narcissistic traits uh, are, are definitely common among adolescents, uh, but if you're dealing with an adult, um, they're pretty much stuck in it. It's, it's almost impossible. Um, for them to overcome it, because as they get older, um, they're just so used to it. So uh, it's best not to stay in those relationships to get out when you can. Uh, ghost um, is what they love to do. Uh, it's, it's good to just move on with your life. Um, I would acknowledge the person, but uh, it is good to block them because they do like to Hoover. Um, be careful of what you're going through because sometimes you might want to reverse Hoover yourself back into the situation just because it's easier. Um, but it's, it's just going to get you back into that terrible cycle. Um, so just because it's easier to, to kind of squash our pain in the moment, um, to go back to that is just going back to, to a cycle. And um, it's just best to move forward. 
and, and heal. Um, you know, uh, I had just watched a video on this uh, toddler that had, um, they thought the toddler died and uh, they uh, were at the funeral and um, the uncle went to move the baby and the baby moved its head. They realized this baby was still alive. Um, so they were told, um, you know, that by the doctor, the baby was alive and then the baby died the next day. Um, and so they had to bury the baby anyways. Um, I also had something with, with a miscarriage where, um, you know, uh, I, I went in and I was told that I lost the baby and then the doctor comes in and he's like, oh, I, I checked your levels and um, it seems that everything's okay. And it didn't sound right. I'm like, those numbers don't sound right. He's, and then he comes back and he's like, oh, I, I misread it because it goes by how many zeros or you know, they can tell how far along you are. Um, so in both those situations, um, you know, you, you feel a loss and then you're told it's okay, everything's okay. And then you have to feel that loss all over again. Um, and when I went through that miscarriage, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad I medically knew that the numbers didn't sound right to me. Um, but to, to have that excitement like oh everything's okay and then have it taken away twice um makes it harder so the more often you go back to these relationships um the more it's gonna hurt the more it, it's prolonged pain so i'm gonna make a video now on um i think that's a good point to make about you know that scenario with with the loss of a baby and getting it back and then losing it all over again that's what we're doing in these narcissistic relationships. So stay tuned. I'm going to make that video right now. Uh, enjoy the day. Uh, get out. Enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.